What's good, YouTube? It's your man, CJ, a.k.a. the High Value Nurse, checking in once again, back with another video, <sighs> coming to you live from the med room. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, um, I'm here because I want to have a real conversation. Now, if you clicked on this video, it might be for one of a few reasons. One, it's in your feed, and you like what I do, and you want to see it. Two, you are an aspiring nursing student, and this just happened to pop up, or probably three, you got rejected from nursing school. Yeah, you got rejected. You put in a lot of work. You put in a lot of time. You study for the entrance exam. You've taken all these classes and did all this just to get rejected out of nursing school. You probably feel in all kind of ways right now. You probably feel hurt. You probably feel angry. You probably feel sad, upset. You probably got a lot of other things going on in your life and you was counting on this thing right here to be something good. And people become or want to become nurses for several reasons. You may have seen a couple vlogs on YouTube. You may have seen some of my vlogs. You may have seen other nurses vlogs, you know, of a certain lifestyle and you want that and you figure nursing is the way to obtain it. You may be a person that wants to make more money, better pay, more flexibility over your schedule. You may be an individual that really wants to help people. You may be an individual that wants to change your family's life. There are several different reasons that people choose to do this. And whatever reason that you choose, I'm sure it's valid. You put in the work, put in the time, and it didn't work out in your favor. So here's the first thing I want you to do. I want you to breathe. I want you to breathe, and I want you to take it all in. I want you to take it all in, and I want you to feel all those emotions that you're feeling right now. I want you to be upset. I want you to be mad. I want you to feel it. Because your feelings are valid right now. Especially if you put in a time and an effort and you came up short. Some of y'all probably didn't get in by 1%. And that really has to hurt. But what I'm here to tell you is that as corny as it may sound, as cliche as it might sound, it's not the end. It's definitely not the end. There are hundreds, 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 hundreds of nursing schools in the state, around the country, and around the world. And I don't want you to necessarily look at rejection as a bad thing. And I know some of you have probably never failed before. Some of you have probably exceeded in everything you've ever done. But when it came to this one thing, this is the one thing that finally put that L on your record. Well, embrace it. Feel it. Sometimes in life, you're not going to always get picked. You're not going to always win. But you can't always learn from every single situation. And I know it sucks. I know it feels bad right now. I get it. But what you gonna do? What you gonna just stop and, and, and not pursue your dream? This is your dream? Are you just gonna stop and, 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 and not try to make a better life for yourself? Are you just gonna stop and not try to make a better way for your family? Are you just going to stop? I wouldn't recommend that <sighs> because there are so many different avenues and so many different ways and so many different opportunities to get into the nursing field that rejection from one or maybe even two or maybe even three it really doesn't matter because all that matters is that one <laughs> that's all that matters is that one and once you get in that one then we playing ball. But I want you to understand that it's okay to be upset. I want you to understand that it's okay to be mad. I want you to understand that it's okay to be angry. 
because I do understand how hard it is to get into this field. A field that to claim that they need a lot of people is very difficult to get in, but here's the deal. If it really came that easy, you wouldn't really appreciate it. You would not appreciate it. I know people who have applied for several nursing schools and they got rejected, turned down, even failed out. But all they needed was that one. That one acceptance, that one pass out of many failures and rejections. And I gotta tell you, man, it it, it can suck very bad. You don't wanna hear nothing, nobody talking about this video might sound corny, cliche, but it's real talk. You cannot let run one rejection stop your grind. You can't let one rejection stop your passion. You can't let one rejection stop your goal. Or I don't care how many rejections you got. If you want to do it, then do it. And see, that's the difference between people who will get it and people who won't get it. Because some people, they'll just take a couple L's and they'll be like, oh, I'm done. Let me go work at McDonald's. And no disrespect to the McDonald's workers. But... That's how some people will take it. And I just want to say, nah, you cannot, you can't think like that. You can't think like that. Some of y'all be like, oh, what is my family going to think? What is my mama going to think? What is my wife or my husband going to think? You can't worry about that. Okay, you failed or you got rejected. Now what? It's time to do what we got to do and get back on it. I want y'all to really understand that because... This thing is really a mental game. It's psychological. I believe nursing from the entrance exam to the prerequisites, to the clinicals, to the classwork, all the way up into the NCLEX is meant to test your mental fortitude. Because well, I'm gonna tell you right now, every day working in the field, you are mentally tested every day day no breaks <laughs> no breaks you are tested mentally every day it is not for the weak especially if you plan to work directly with patients it's not for the weak and I'm gonna tell you something you gonna have patients that reject you you gonna have patients that's not gonna want you as a nurse for whatever reason Maybe because you're too fat, too skinny, too big, too black, too white, too orange, too straight, too gay, whatever. For whatever reason, you're going you gonna to have people, you're going to have straight up patients that do not want you as a nurse and they will reject you. What, you going to just cry? No. They got the right to refuse. They got the right to refuse. So rejection comes in all forms in this field. And it's literally a part of the game. So I would say take your time to feel how you feel. Go ahead, have your cool little weekend. Have you some fun. Do what you need to do. Pray about it. Ask God for guidance. But at some point, we got to get back on this horse. You know, recently I had the biggest loss of my life. I lost my baby brother. And, you know, the first couple of days, it was just like, I didn't know how I was going to keep going. But with the help of God, like, it was just like step by step, minute by minute, moment by moment. And, um, yeah, it, it, it hurts. It still hurts. It's probably always going to hurt. But we got to keep grinding and make us stronger. And that's all this rejection is going to do. It's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you hungrier. See, it's the mindset. You can either let it defeat you or you can let it make you stronger. That's how I looked at the passing of my brother. I can I could let it defeat me <laughs> and never want to do anything else again ever in life. Or I can let it make me stronger. Build endurance. Take care of my family. Take care of my people. Make sure the people around me are straight taking care of myself trying to be the best person that I can be 
is you gonna fold or is you gonna run? Is you gonna grind and make it happen? It's really up to you because regardless of what you choose, life is gonna continue. People are gonna keep applying to nursing school. People are gonna get it. People are gonna be successful. And people are gonna go on and have a great life. That's how I had to look at my, my brother's passing. You can sit here and wallow in pity and, and grief and mourn, which is okay to do, but you gotta keep moving. If you, What's gonna happen if you let this thing destroy you? And you can't let nursing, you being rejected from nursing destroy you. That's what I wanna get across. So, my advice, take you a weekend, maybe a week, to feel that pain, embrace that pain, understand what it feels like. So just in case you get some more failures or rejection hits you again, all right, boom, I can deal with this, I can handle this. It hurt, but I'm familiar with this, I know what this feel like. Go the extra mile, grind it out. Do what you gotta do. Because regardless, whether you, whether you decide to continue and try to pursue nursing or not. Nursing is still going to be nursing. With or without you. So what choice are you going to make? We ain't going to let nothing stop us. We're going to keep grinding until Jesus decides to take our last breath. You feel me? So. Hopefully this helped you. Don't stop. Pray about it. Work hard. Grind it out. Do what you got to do. My name is CJ, aka the High Value Nurse. Hopefully you got something from this. Leave me a comment. Let me know what happened to you. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel. I'll let you in a minute. Peace.